Like, pe- like to me, everything's about breathing, right? Like to me, everything is about like take full ownership for everything and then everything gets easy because then you're in control. And then learn how to love to lose. Like for me, my game's simple, right? It's all my fault. So now, I'm not mad at Lindsay or D-Rock or, that's it, my fault. I'm empowering them. So it's actually true. My fault. Now, oh, we lost this or this didn't deliver or we fucked up. All right, it's an L. Like everybody's got losses. You know, it's funny, uh, when UFC started getting popular, I started using it to paint a picture. I'm like, look, business and entrepreneurship is much more UFC than it is boxing. In boxing, a loss is devastating. Like, you know, if you ever, you know, if you're, I'm a big boxing fan, like most big fights, like the big, big, big fights through the year, almost, it's just unbelievable amounts of 33 and 0 versus 35 and 0, right? Just like, uh, t- that's like what you do, you don't fight anybody and you get to that level. Everybody's got losses in the UFC. And so I think that's how, that's how entrepreneurship, that's how life is, we all have losses. And so I like losses. I love adversity. I like the climb. I like the chip on my shoulder. I like when people are like, oh, I knew it. He's not that good. That is like, like I'm even weirdly scared as I continue to ascend and I'm getting popular and what, I, what did you say, the marketing leading, like people start putting these words in front of my name. I'm like, am I gonna sabotage myself to like recorrect this? Like I like adversity. So yeah, all on me. You know, I enjoy losses. Now all of a sudden, like what? You become completely invincible. I feel invincible. I really genuinely, outside of the health of myself and 20 people, feel 100% invincible as a person. I know what my intent is. I wanna do good at nobody else's expense. I'm far from perfect, we all are. There's a lot of uh, push towards being a workaholic and hard work is a learned behavior. I see it in my team. There's people that come into my, I've seen it in the thousands of employees I've had, which is the closer they are to the sun, the harder they work. And I'm like, "Uh aha. And so I definitely feel like I learned hard work by watching my parents. Um, And so it's why I talk so much about hustle. Because it's one of the things that people can actually adjust and turn to. I I watch people give advice completely predicated on natural talent and DNA and I'm like, look, like I get it, like I can throw a football every day for nine hours a day, I'm just not physically built to be competitive at the highest levels. So yeah, I do think, you know, if anybody watching right now, if there's anything they take away, it's like look, like you're gonna only be so pretty, you're only gonna be so smart, like you, like th- there's, there's things that are gonna be natural and then there's things that you can actually control. I do believe, and I don't know if I'm right or wrong, I don't, but I do believe that work ethic is a taught behavior. It's something you do have more control over. Um, and yeah, I think, uh, you know, I think, and you know what really sealed the deal for me? Getting healthier. I was, 38 years old and it didn't come natural to me. Like it didn't come natural to me at all. I hate the gym, I hate it now. I hate it, I don't like it, I don't wanna do it. Um, but, I, but I knew it was important. And somewhere around midway through being 38 years old, I got serious, I figured out my system, I made the financial commitment, and I've won, right? And I'll never lose again because the system was I needed to be accountable to another human being. So it was about Mike and now Jordan and whoever else is my trainer. I'm doing it almost weirdly more to not let them down than to, and so that was the shift. And so I feel like there's a shift that can make people work harder. The big one that I push is you're gonna die. Like, like if you're complaining, like to me, life is broken down into complaining and not. So if you're not complaining, well then I have no, I have no advice for you. I'm, I'm pumped. Like you did it. Like, like I have friends who make $42,000 a year, um, work nine to four, kind of, with an hour and a half lunch, and 45 minutes of YouTube, and 10 minutes of bullshitting, and an hour of complete wasted time in a meeting. So they're kind of working like six you know, hours a week, right? But, <laughs> but, but they're pumped. And, and, and they text me, these are high school friends, and they'll text me like how happy they are to be the coach of their kid's baseball team. And you know, like that's amazing. Like that, this is back to what we said about keyboard warriors. I'm trying to be very careful about what I'm saying versus what I'm doing because that's how you get exposed. And I don't mean like people calling you out and being like, you suck. I mean to yourself. I don't want to be exposed by myself. It's, it's, it's looking yourself in the mirror and saying like, am I doing this right? So to me, 
There's so many people that are talking shit about how big of an entrepreneur they're gonna be and how much they're gonna achieve and they don't work on weekends. You know, I worked every Saturday of my 20s. Like, and I talk to 20 year old entrepreneurs every single day. Lately I've been saying to them, this Saturday, you're gonna have more time off than I've had in my entire 20s 